It's tea time, positivity time, and we are spilling all of it right here in this space created by two crazy fun-loving besties to share stories of self-discovery while developing a positive mindset to all that we experience in life. It's a no-judgment zone for sharing stories of hope, faith, love, growth, and most of all, grace and gratitude. <laughs> will you come back and talk to us again? I absolutely will. Oh, fantastic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so join us as we get ready to spill some positivity and get a fresh perspective on life. Uh, to cheers that. to that. You don't cheers with tea. Anyway, this is positivity though. We could cheers with positive this. Positive tea, tea here. Yes, okay. we are. Hey guys, welcome to a very special edition of Spilling the Positivity. Maria and I are so excited. We have a really special guest. Super special. Super special. She is a mother. She's an attorney. She's an author, a philanthropist, a carnival baby. And she once was Miss Universe. I'm sure you know who it is by now. We're super excited. We have Wendy we Fitzwilliams. Really Yay! Welcome, welcome, welcome to Spilling the Positivity. I am so happy to be here and spill a little tea with you guys. Oh, Thank we you. are so excited that you're here. We're so excited. And our sponsors also was excited. And they <laughs> did a specially branded Wendy Tetley Tea 24-hour mug for you. Oh. So thank you. Thank you as well and for I'm a joining us. Tea person, so I'll put this to greet you. Yes, you can share have some of that Tetley tea in there and take it for 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> and you will never forget Absolutely. being on spilling positivity. Absolutely not. You know. Yeah. That's right. Oh Wendy, so thank you so much for joining us. Oh. Really. We are thrilled. So, I am thrilled to be here. Thanks for having me. Wendy, you are an icon. You are every little Caribbean girl. Yes. Like, I, I was telling somebody that, you know, we were doing this today, and they were like, oh, my gosh, the, I, I can't wait for, to hear about it because I love her. I follow her on IG. Oh, really? Tell us what your journey has been <laughs> like. Yeah. How you even got started, first of all, being um, in a pageant like Miss Universe. I mean, you know. So I think my uh, story is very average Caribbean, in all honesty. <laughs> I did not um, really uh, gravitate towards pageants. Mm -hmm. I always loved fashion. Oh, nice. I yeah. loved fashion. Yes. I mean, as a little girl, pre, you know, 24-hour fashion TV as we have now, yeah. um, you had to get up at 7.30 in the morning on a Sunday to see Style with Elsa. Yes, of course. Of course. Right. Well, yeah, with daylight savings, it was 6.30. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. God rest her soul. Yes, that's right. That's right. Yeah, now. Yeah. And, and um, style heaven. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and I always loved fashion. Not so much pageants. I didn't know enough about pageants. You know, right. we had Penny Commission, yes. who was the first black woman to win Miss Universe. Right. Um, a Trini. So I named everything after her. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> you know, my dolls, my pets, everything was named after Penny. But apart from that, you know, right. Um, and a very good friend of mine at home, Peter Elias, who's right. a stylist, a designer, and loves Miss Universe himself. Um, in the 90s, all Miss Universes were Peter's friends. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he would just steadily convince us to participate in the pageant. And honestly, that's how I got involved. Right. So there right. was no preparation as you do now mm -hmm. for a pageant. My life, I think, up to that point, prepared me to be in Miss Universe. So, wow. you know, uh, attending law school, hello, if you've ever done moot court, <laughs> <laughs> um, having to argue a case when you're very unsure of yourself in front of the judges they bring in from all over the Caribbean, right. yeah. very, very strict. That prepared me to handle the press and to uh, answer questions on the spot. Yeah. Um, you know, I danced ballet as a kid, and I think ballet is for a young woman so important right yes. even if you're not a, a natural dancer yes, I say yeah. moms get your kids into ballet lessons specifically mm -hmm. ballet is uh, to dance what piano is to music or English uh, yes. is to language yeah yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. it's okay. the foundation you can yeah. do anything if you have that background but more importantly it teaches you how to use your peripheral vision. <laughs> <laughs> Little things like that, you know, okay. which worked uh, to my advantage. So Miss Universe was my second pageant ever in life. Wow. The first pageant I attended was the Miss Trinidad and Tobago competition that I won. Really? And the very second one was Miss Universe. So I show up at Miss Universe like, hey. <laughs> uh, and Puffy and Veggie had just blown up. At that yes, 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 yes. Yeah. And with 
darling Sean, you know, my buddy, my Bajan buddy, who right. has been my friend literally since my first semester on campus. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And once you have Sean as your friend, you have a good <laughs> friend, for life. friend for life. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, the night before, because I flew instead of flying via Miami, my competition was in Hawaii, instead of flying to Miami, as most West Indians would do to get to Hawaii, I flew to New York to mm. align with Sean. Right. My <laughs> yeah. little sister was at college and, uh, in New York at the time. And we went to a club called Life, which was on and popping. <laughs> called and Life? And life. Listen. And, 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 it and was Life. Yeah, it was Life. And it was Life. Uh, yeah. And, and, and Puffy and Biggie were there that night. Wow. And we parted. My flight was leaving New York City at 8.30. And Sean looked at me at about 6.30 and said, Dolly, we have to go now. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, Why? We have to go. And he's like, because your flight leaves in two hours. Oh, my gosh. Like, I'm your way to this universe. Like, on my way to Miss Are you Universe. serious? Oh, yes. So I, I, I thought to myself, I'm prepared, and I was prepared to make top 10 in my head. I yeah. owed the people of Trinidad and Tobago and the Caribbean at least a top 10 right. mm -hmm. place because I didn't just want an introduction. Hi, Wendy Fitzwilliam from Trinidad and Tobago, mm -hmm. and then you never see me again. And you right. felt no okay. pressure? Not really. Okay, I good. honestly did not. Yeah. I felt pressure only at the moment I made top three. Because wow. I the competition, I was having a ball. Yeah. yeah. Just as I'm chatting with you guys right. now, yeah. I was having a great time on stage. And, and you weren't taking yourself too, too seriously. Serious at all. And I think that's the key to yeah. life. It, it absolutely is. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, once you, uh, what, everything you do, I think, once you, you, you enjoy it mm -hmm. yeah. and you give your best, the universe has a way of putting things together. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. Can yeah. you say that Don't one more time? So? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and you were fully, fully authentic in the experience. Yes. And embracing it, it yes. seems. Yeah. I, I really, I mean, yeah. I had a great time. As I said, I wasn't a pageant girl. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? So really, that I was um, my experience at universe. I was in my final year at law school and I was very determined to finish as a good West Indian. You yes. You know this. You know academics. We were talking about this. Yes. yes. Academics is everything. Yes, and apart from the pressure that your parents put yes. on you, I'm the first born. Yes. Uh, yes. 10 years of marriage. Telling you wow. that. I don't have to tell you. Yes. <laughs> Same right? here for there me. There was no not finishing. <laughs> yeah. But I wanted to finish. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know yeah. I, mean? I was like, I spent five years studying law. There's no way I'm giving this up. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I made sure I completed Completed it, and um, and that was it. Really. Wow! So it was the pageant. Then you finished law school. Yeah. So I left Trinidad and Tobago during what is study break before you write your finals. Right. Wow. The last day of law school. Okay. Uh -huh. And I thought I'll make top ten. I'll go home and finish exams. <laughs> 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 write my exams to become a lawyer. Yeah. Uh, and then I won. So uh, the, the first thing, you know, the co company is like, okay, this is going to be your life now. You sign a contract. You're an employee of the machine. So a million questions. They answer wow. you have a, 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 a press conference immediately with the international press. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wait, stop. Like, this is lovely. <laughs> but before we go any further, I'm scheduled to write exams in two weeks and I need to finish school. Wow. And, and you made that absolutely clear, that, right? I made that very clear. And they were like, oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> you, were, you were creating oh. your destiny. Yes. You were defining what you were going to yeah. do, right? Absolutely. Yes, I love that. We have to figure this out. Yeah, you yeah. Know? And, um, and the company was really great in wow, that regard. Good. You know, they made sure they put things in place. There was no way. I could write my exams then because as mm -hmm. I said, the minute they put that crown on your head, you become a, an employee right. of the Miss Universe organization mm -hmm. and you are working. Wow. Like you are working. Wow. wow. <laughs> it's a great job. It's mm -hmm. a great job, but you are working. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, so but what, made sure. what what says sorry to interrupt sure. you, but your says so much about who you are and mm -hmm. your character that you were not blinded because it's so easy, easy. to get yeah. caught up, right? But when you when you talk and you talk about your son, it, um, Elin. 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 and you were, she was telling us about we her son earlier. If you have him as my parents, right? You will understand why you don't but, get blind. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but, but I'm also saying you knew you knew have a real sense of who you are. You were talking about Elin, how he has a sense of. Who, so that's where it comes it's, from. Yeah. It comes from you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because you were like, look. Bright lights, crown, all that stuff. Mm -mm. I'm, I'm getting my degree. degree. Exactly. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. I didn't, I mean, I guess. Yes. It's just a lot of hard work. And yeah. I figured I must finish this. There's going to be life after Miss yeah. Universe and I need to be prepared. Yes. For yes. That That's phenomenal. And then there were so many building blocks in your life that prepared you because you talked about ballet and that grace that you, that glide that you have. Mm -hmm. And then the perspectives of being a strong Caribbean woman, growing up with strong Caribbean parents. Yes. And then also law and understanding court and standing in front of people and, and giving your word. 
it seems that you had all the, as you said, the stars were aligned. Yes. And how has that helped you to deal with any kind of adversity that comes your way in your life? So something we have not spoken about as yet that also I think is very important, not only for me, but for most of us in this part of the world, mm -hmm. is our faith. Mm. Ah, oh, that's yes. very important. Yes. yes. And the yeah. other thing is, so it's faith and it's the way our societies are comprised. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are used to leaning on each other. We are used to being supportive of each other. Yeah. And the diversity in the Caribbean is not superficial. No, it's right. not. Right? Mm -hmm. We really get involved in everybody else. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, 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 sometimes too much. Sometimes, too much. <laughs> sometimes not so much. But more than not, yeah. that works to our advantage. Yeah. So I have always had a very, very strong network around me. And it's mm -hmm. not always the same people. There are a few people who are my anchors. Yes. Right. Who are there through thick and thin regardless. Yes. Um, but I do have very strong um, friendships, relationships, some newer, some that I've had forever. Right. Mm -hmm. Sean, yes. again, is a great mm -hmm. example. Yeah. You know, who comes across as this like really cool, hot party. <laughs> and when it comes to Down being to it. a friend yes. and yeah. being there I can for attest you, to that. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> he is yes. there. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? One of my good friends um, from law school, whom I met, an older woman at the time, she mm. was a manager at one of our banks at home and decided after her divorce, I'm going to pursue my dreams <laughs> Nice. <laughs> and once Kudos to, to a lawyer, her. Right. Barbara, Barbara's my ride or die. Right. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like, we have been really close. Ride or live. Ever. Okay, so we had yeah. a whole thing. Ride or live. Ride or live. We had a whole thing <laughs> on our show on loyalty. And I was talking about Ride or Live. And yeah. we're just like, no, we're, why are we dying? We're providing a living. <laughs> yes, yes. And then, you know, in terms of raising my son, I'm a single mother, very much a choice. My mm -hmm. son has a great relationship with his dad, who lives in another country, right. who lives yeah. in the United States. Uh, so what that has meant is that I have had to, with my fierce, very uh, proud, very independent self, lean sometimes, not only on my parents, but on very close friends. Mm -hmm. right. you know? mm -hmm. For the, uh, my son is now 15 and he's a, a settled little man in his own right. life. Yeah. He's off to school and he's doing his thing. Yeah. Um, I'm still very much his mom. He still relies on me for advice and whatever. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not as, ha I don't have to be, I can't be as hands on day to day right. because he's away at boarding school. Mm -hmm. But that said, you know, I have a couple of friends who became much closer to me during the time I was raising Elan because I was the kind of mom who would not do anything unless my child was included. Right. And when I say really? anything, oh yes, cocktails at the Spanish <laughs> ambassador, I would dress him up off the school. He was my plus one. Right. Yeah, like yeah. we just did everything we together. together. Yeah, yeah. When he was a baby, when he started um, primary school, he discovered Justin Bieber for the first time. And up until that point, he thought Winton Marcellus and Chick <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. So you I, gave him a proper grounding. Yeah. Uh, like literally, when he was what was that? Three months old. His first trip to New York City. He was in a car seat. I'd strap him in the back of a car. <laughs> Take him to Lincoln Center and we would sit and look at a concert nice. together. And he strapped into the seat next to me. So he just, and he was like, You witch. But he loves it. He yes. still loves you. He, he, he would, you know, go to a classical concert or a jazz concert without mm -hmm. me prompting. Yeah. But he loves his Bieber, his right. everybody too. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. The best of them. That's yeah. fantastic. But, um, but, 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 my friends, you know, Joe and Cynthia particularly, they, um, an older couple, yeah. you know, but they, having raised a family of their own, understood the importance of being present. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they included him in everything. Lovely. Like parties That's fantastic. Where we went on it didn't matter, you mm -hmm. know. And so I, I always, my network and, and my friendships last. They tweak a little bit, so sometimes they're what yeah. I call they're hot and sweaty. Yeah. So maybe a little bit yes. hot and sweaty than others at a particular time. Yes. 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 But you keep your friends close. Yes. You know yeah. What I mean? Yeah. And we, we firmly you know agree that. with that. Absolutely. That's our whole our thing. mantra. Really. That's really, yeah. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Because the people that you have around you impact your life in so many ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and it's the people you have closest to, that are closest to you that have access to you that yeah. can you know, do the, can really lift you up yeah. and make your life better right. or, or, the yeah. or the opposite, right? <laughs> yeah. So, which is why you have to be so careful, oh, right? Yes. And, so and, right? But having that support system yeah. is, is it's, very, it's important. very important, especially as, you know, we talk about trying to 
bring something positive to the world, yeah. the, your best self to the world, mm -hmm. and to give, make things just, you know, make things good, good. and to feel, feel good. good. Yeah, yeah. That, those support and systems. That is the key, Natasha. Ooh, some good tea was spilled today. You've got to tune in next week for part two of Conversations with the Queen.